Hey guys, so yeah, it's been a while. It's been half a year, probably longer. Uh, I don't think I've did a video or actually uploaded a video since, um, since I got back from Japan in August of last year. So yeah, it's been a long time. And actually speaking of Japan, it's getting about time for me to go back to Japan. Um, I'm planning one, possibly two trips this year. Um, I don't know if I'm going again in May or if I may push that back to August since um, May and August are so close together. I may go in August and then again in like December or something. I'm not really sure exactly yet. Um, depends on funds and how much I'm able to get off work. So yeah. Um, um, for anyone that wants to um, know about how I plan to go to Japan or how I planned it out and what I did to research and stuff like that, um, leave it in the comments and I may make a, a short series of videos on how I prepared myself to go to Japan alone with that being my first time leaving the country. So yeah, that was quite an experience and I definitely studied a whole lot before I went. But um, there's tons of videos on YouTube that um, would go into way more detail and be better at it than what I would be. So there's not really a need for me to make any videos like that. But anyway, um, this is going to be a pickups video and I'm going to really, really start trying to start doing these um, once every week to two weeks. Um, really going to try to stick with that goal. I know I've said that in the past, but I'm going to really try to stick with it this time, I promise. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the stuff that I've bought over the last two weeks, maybe a bit longer. So I'm just going to jump right into that because um, there's quite a bit to go over. First up we have a stack of anime and I'm starting with the stuff that I got um, like the latest or the furthest from today and today is March 8th 2019 so let's get on with this we have Mabu Raho um, this is a ADV release um, chipboard box um, one through seven I believe that's complete I don't know if it has a second season and I have not got around to watching that next up we have air gear I did watch all of this one and it's certain it's really strange be well it's ADV one through six the full box um, got it for a good deal um, this is really strange because oh great has a really strange track record whenever it comes to anime being made from its manga um, air gear the manga does not have nudity but Tenjo Tenge does have nudity the air gear anime has nudity but the Tenjo Tenge anime does not have nudity so that's really strange but um, yeah, I, I did get around to watching this. It's a fairly decent adaptation, not perfect by any means. It ends very abruptly, so that's a little strange how it just ends. It's almost it's almost as bad as The Sopranos ending mid-sentence. Um, that is literally how fast this ends whenever... Um, I don't want to spoil it too much for those of you that have not seen it, but it pretty much ends right after a sentence, and it just cuts to black, and you see credits, and it's like what just happened but I do know there's some OVAs to this um, that only came out in Japan so that's something you may want to look into if you want to get into the anime but I definitely highly recommend the manga it's so much better the manga and the story just doesn't adapt too well to anime it's a it comes across as really cheesy and just incredibly unbelievable so unless you're a fan of the manga beforehand I probably wouldn't recommend watching the anime Next up we have Magicano. Don't know anything about this one. I know uh, Funimation has a save edition of this. It's an old ADV title. And I was going to buy the save edition, but I found this for like 10 bucks, So I just went with this because that's even cheaper than the save edition. Um, next up we have Moon Phase. Now this one is one that I really look forward to for a very long time. I watched the, the teaser trailers to this on random anime DVDs that I bought years ago and I was really looking forward to watching this and um, I'm on disc one and it's pretty much let me down so far honestly um, it's pretty much nothing like I had in mind um, at all it's very strange because the the trailers make it seem way more interesting and different than what it actually is but maybe it does get better later on um, I'm not gonna give a full opinion on it until I do get to finish it but uh, so far it definitely hasn't lived up to the expectation and what I had in my mind whenever I saw the trailers alright next up um, we're gonna do some PS1 games now these two games are games that I did not buy 
anytime recently. These I bought a very long time ago. But I'm going to show them just to show what I've been playing and that I do actually play the video games that I buy. I do read the manga I buy. I do watch the anime I buy. But on the other hand, I kind of buy way too much and I just can't keep up with the rate that I buy. So yeah, um, we have... Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. I've been putting a ton of time into this, and it is definitely one of, if one of, if not the most difficult Yu-Gi-Oh! game I've ever played. I've played quite a few Yu-Gi-Oh! games, and they're usually really fun, but this one is so different than the rest. It's, it's crazy. I just, there's no way I could explain how this game is played. It's your standard Yu-Gi-Oh!, but there's no way I can... I would have to make a full, like, 50-minute video to explain how this game is played, and... Even myself, I really don't understand how it's all played. And I've looked at um, strategy guides, and um, it is so hard that I've looked up cheat codes, and there is no cheat codes to help with this. So far, to my knowledge, the only way to beat this game, unless you emulate it and cheat somehow, um, is to put tons of time into it in order to get better cards. You're just not going to be able to beat the game with the cards that you're given, and you just have to hope that you get good cards whenever you win battles, and you just have to keep rebeating the same people over and over. It's a, it's a very relaxing experience whenever you like get off work and you're tired, and you just don't want to think, and you just want to kick a bunch of people's butt in Yu-Gi-Oh! So yeah. Next up, I've been playing Chrono Trigger on the PS1. Yeah, I've been really into a PS1 phase. I've been buying quite a bit for PS1 and some PS2, but I've been playing a lot of PS1 recently, and I started Chrono Trigger. Um, I believe I'm getting close to the halfway point. I've been using a strategy guide just because I want to get through it faster and experience the story because I don't have a lot of time. Whenever I was younger, I, like, true story, um, Final Fantasy on PSP, I beat that whole game with only looking at a strategy guide once. So whenever I was younger, I had time to put into just traveling the whole map and finding everything, but now I just want to experience the stories now that I'm older and I don't have the time that I used to have whenever I was younger. But anyway, Chrono Trigger, it's been super good so far. Really enjoying that. All right, now on to some games that I did buy recently. Um, we have Digimon Rumble Arena. This one has been a lot of fun. Um, think Super Smash Bros., but with Digimon. It's, it's actually really fun and a relatively cheap game, only like $13. Um, I need to play it more because you do unlock more characters, and I need to unlock some more. But uh, yeah, if you have a friend, just get a friend and... It's only a two player, so only one friend. But anyway, we have Gauntlet Legends. Um, I'm a really good. I'm a really huge fan of uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, and this one looks to be in that uh, type and style. So I really look forward to playing that as well. All right. Um, next up, some Goodwill finds. We have some Nerf guns. I found some Nerf guns for two ninety nine each, and I went and bought some ammo. I went and bought some ammo for him, did not know that was cocked back. But anyway, um, yeah, um, now I get to shoot people that come to my house with Nerf guns. I just buy pretty much, like, whenever I go into thrift stores, I buy pretty much anything I find interesting. And that's why I collect so much random junk. Next up we have uh, Donkey Konga. I now have two of these controllers that I got from Goodwill. This one was $4.99. Um, haven't got to plug it in and play it yet because I don't actually have Donkey Konga, but... I have two of the controllers, so that'll be some. That'll be pretty. That'll be pretty fun once I get like four controllers right. Invite three, three friends out and just have a good old time. All right, now we're gonna get through blast through these movies. It's a little stack. This isn't all the movies I've bought recently. Um, usually, about every time I go to town, I buy three new movies. Um, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's just a quick trip, but usually. Whenever I go into town on like weekends and stuff, at least once a week I buy like three new movies to watch. Anyway, we have Venom by Tom Hardy. Have not got to watch that yet. Really need to. Um, Black Panther because I haven't seen it since I saw it in theater and I, I liked it but it didn't quite live up to the hype. Um, it's definitely upper tier Marvel movie for sure but with all the hype behind it and all the awards it's got, it's definitely not the best Marvel movie by any means but it's far from the bottom. Definitely above mid tier. For sure. I really enjoyed it. I want to rewatch it, and that's why I bought it. Um, the Usual Suspects. This was really good. Um, I watch Looper videos randomly, um, mostly whenever I'm driving and stuff. But anyway, uh, I saw uh, the one with the twist endings and stuff, and I've been buying up a bunch of those off that list, and this was on it. It was really good. 
um, Inglorious Bastard, uh, Bastards, need to watch that. Um, we have The Departed, need to watch that. The Nun, because I love The Conjuring Universe, I need to watch that. Uh, Batman the Animated Series, um, Season or Volume 2? Volume 2? Yeah, they're all volumes. Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. So that completes all of Batman. I still need the Superman series and uh, the rest of Justice League and beyond that. Like Batman Beyond and stuff. The rest of the Timverse and stuff like that. Alright, um, let's get on to some stuff that I got today. I found this at Goodwill today. It is a Game Boy Advance travel bag. I'm probably one of the only people that I actually like really care to... Like, anytime I find a travel bag, I have quite a few of these, and a lot of them I found at thrift stores. Um, not just Game Boy Advance, like uh, Xbox, PlayStation, just any type of video game travel bag, I buy those. Um, I just put them in cases um, and just pack them away usually because I don't tr really travel with video games. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> Physically, I'm not a kid, but mentally, I'm still like 11. Anyway, we have uh, Frogger Adventures. Um, my dad brought this in because he found it and he, he gave it to me. And yeah, now I have it. But anyway, talking about Game Boy Advance, I have my SP right here and I've actually been playing um, Yu Gi Oh! I don't know. Rush of, of Destruction? I don't really know. But anyway, I um, really like the Yu Gi Oh! Game Boy Advance games. They're usually pretty good because the. Well, the only one I've beat all the way through is um, the Sacred Cards, and I really enjoyed that one. It was a whole lot of fun. Next up, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. It was a freebie game because I bought um, three games and got one free. Anyway, next up, we have Monster Rancher Battle Card Game Boy. Um, Monster Rancher is a old uh, cartoon anime um, that probably no one else but people my age are to remember. But anyway, it was a cheap game, so I picked it up. And next up we have Batman Vengeance on GameCube. Can't wait to play this because, I don't know, I really like the GameCube. Alright, let's see here, what else have we got? And we have one final stack of anime that is stuff that I got recently. First up we have Planet um, 1 and Season 2, I guess, is After Story really sure anyway I got both of these for 20 bucks each um, I was just gonna get the Sentai um, complete series set but um, spending 40 bucks on this is cheaper than spending over a hundred dollars on that uh, even though it's on blu-ray I still probably will get that actually um, the next Sentai sale I might actually get that but anyway I've been wanting to watch this for a very long time because I watched air and I'm still missing uh, Kanon and then I will have like the TBS uh, trilogy of super sad anime can't wait to watch that Actually, I take it back. I have a couple more video games. Um, we have Final Fantasy X and X2 uh, HD Remix. Been playing this as well. Um, it looks so much better than the PS2 version because late last year, whenever I got back from Japan, I beat Final Fantasy X. I really enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I played that game, and now I'm playing it again. It's actually not in here. Huh. And next up, we have Final Fantasy Type O HD. Um, haven't got to play that one yet, but. I've been working on buying all the Final Fantasy games. Alright, last thing we have here today. I actually, I take that back. I have some more stuff. It's right here in front of me. We have, I got this one today. It is Superman, The Middle of Tomorrow. Um, anyway, this one was on clearance for 50% off at uh, Books A Million, so I picked that up. Been wanting to get back, back into comics. Um, I got into comics again last year, and I started buying up a ton of them then money got tight and I just started preferring to buy other things and now I want to get back into buying comics and reading comics again. And I've been wanting to branch off into Superman because I've been buying a ton of Batman and Batman family stuff like uh, Batwoman, Batgirl, Batman, um, Detective Comics. I've bought tons of that stuff but I want to branch out into Superman and uh, of course I've read the Trinity and stuff like that. Anyway, now the final thing. And we have Shuffle. Um, this is the complete set, all six um, DVDs, and they all come with the posters, and this was for $9.95. And some of you probably already know that I actually already kind of have that, but I am missing 
volume three and I've been missing that for years and I've been trying to find it for years and I've never found it in a store in all these years so I was about ready to give up and just get the save edition off Amazon for like 20 bucks of shuffle that way I could finally watch the whole series and then I found this for under ten dollars and it's the full set so I got that instead um, one day I hope to actually complete this bot set too and I might do a giveaway or something I don't know it's cool to have two because this is a series I really like it's actually one of the first anime that um, kind of got me into anime well got me hardcore into anime like in 2006 2007 maybe a bit later but anyway that is it for the collection update this time I hope to be back within another week to two weeks probably just a week because I have quite a bit that I might actually buy depending on what I find and I will see you in the next video later